What's going on, Robot Masters? I'm Mega Man, and today I thought we'd take a look at a Mega Man-like game. This is 30XDX. It's the sequel to 20XDX, which was a beautiful hand-drawn roguelike game. Uh, this is more in the the graphic style of the Mega Man X series. Uh, the gameplay is very Mega Man X-ish, and I, I think it's a fantastic little game. So. We'll get started in the standard mode here. Um, I've got a couple upgrades, so I get get my choice of a item here at the beginning. Um, and I just take some armor just to get some extra tankiness. I didn't really like my other options here, so um, I apologize. My my microphone was kind of freaking out when I started this, so I have to do uh, the post commentary. But hopefully, it turns out okay anyway. So. This first stage here, um, you'll kind of notice that the stages, um, you randomly get thrown into one when you start a game. There's, there's eight of them, just kind of like in any Mega Man game. Uh, the first stage is randomly picked for you. Uh, but they progressively get harder the further in the game you get. So this first stage is essentially the easiest version of this stage that you can get. Uh, I'm running away from the mini boss here. And, just gonna try to muster this guy down and hopefully not take too much damage so but this is uh lots of fireballs in this level it's you know it's kind of time your jumps and make sure you're dodging effectively and it's not too bad so he goes down we get some nuts and we get some memoria which is the meta currency we're gonna take just a, a core upgrade there. So cores allow you to equip armor pieces and weapons. You know, I, I like to upgrade my cores early on just so I have some, you know, options going forward. So anyway, we got a couple more items there. Not too bad. Um, and we're going into this contemplate room here. So, this is just kind of like a, a wave attack mode. You'll see in the corner there, um, it says play safe. And I've taken one damage, and I'll get gold rewards as long as I don't take more than two damage. So, we just want to play kind of safe, and we get the most options then from, from our chest at the end. And here we go to the next wave. Play, play a little bit defensively. Our rewards are on the on the line here, so we don't want to do anything crazy. And uh, you know, <laughs> enemies aren't too shy; they'll spawn on top of you if they have to. <laughs> so there we go; we got through it. And uh, here, I think I take the marksman's might just to get a few extra limits on screen. Um, it's not my favorite upgrade, but I thought it was the best available there. So. We go with it. Um, getting kind of close to the end of this level. Just exploring around, making sure I don't miss anything, and you know, play safe, don't take damage, standard stuff like that. I find this um, this uh, glory room, glory zone. So these are kind of interesting. They are little obstacle courses, and. Um, this one's not too bad. Just don't take damage. Really, the only way you're taking damage here is if you fall on the fire or get hit by these little fireball traps. So we're going to do our best not to do that. <laughs> Just kind of take my time and jump across. And we should be out here. So. I get the choice of three things here. I end up taking the Zookeeper's March, which is one of my favorite boots. I I don't know why it's it's become one of my favorite boots. Um, I used to really like the double jump, but I think I just appreciate the extra jump height now. I think it really feels nice. It feels snappy. You, you have some pretty good directional control in the air, so. This has been um, a boot, boot that I've always uh, started 
are gravitating towards since it got added to the game. So, seems like a no-brainer to me. Um, now, you'll notice it had the, the zookeeper tag, if you want to call it, in front of it. There, there are different armor sets in this, just like most of the Mega Man X games have different armor sets. And you get set bonuses for completing the, the set. So, you know, I'm, I'm not necessarily stuck into going for Zookeeper parts at this point, but it's just something to keep in mind that I might want to look for the other parts of that set and get a bonus. So we get a shop here. I've got, got 34. I can buy two items. Um, just kind of checking out what is available here. There's some They've, they've been updating so much in this game, so some of the stuff is not super familiar to me. So I end up getting an item that always puts an item on sale, and then I got a little orbital shield just to hopefully protect me from some stray bullets here. The, the orbital shield, I'm pretty sure it counts as a repro, which is essentially a pet. So the Zookeeper set, it really really cares about pets, so that was part of the reason I thought I'd pick it up, is I already had one Zookeeper uh, piece. If I get more Zookeeper pieces, then having more repros is going to be very beneficial to me, so. Pick it up, plus, you know, it, there's a lot of bullets that come out of nowhere in this game, especially as you get further, so having a little bit of leeway and how much how much you have to dodge and whatnot is, is pretty useful, so this seemed like a good choice. So, uh, Gorilla Man here, he's just gonna jump around and shoot some fireballs at us. Get a little lucky with some shield blocks there, but he shouldn't take too much water and we'll take him down here. My damage isn't very great, so... <laughs> It's taking a little bit longer than I'd like, but we, we get rid of him, and I'm pretty sure that was a no no damage boss, which is always nice. You get a little thick memoria there, which you use to unlock permanent upgrades like you do in a lot of roguelike games. So once you beat your first level, you're presented with three other levels you can go to. Um, you know, I caused an accident here um, and accidentally turn off my auto charge, so you'll see me pause again after I realized I did, did that and get it, get it fixed. So this guy right here, he likes to offer you a penalty for a reward. So it's three three tokens here to deal 25% less damage um, reward. I, I didn't feel like my damage was good enough that I could afford that. So I, I said, no, thank you. And, and went out my way. Um, thank you. So this, this level is one of the newer ones, I'm the least comfortable about it, so when I saw it was offered, I said, yeah, let's, let's go there, and like I said, the level scale based on it, so getting this level out of the way early means I don't have to deal with some of the trickier aspects of it, so I just felt like, <laughs> like this was probably the best recipe for success, so. You'll see that uh, there's these valve switches here where I can change the water and what direction the water is. Um, that will change what platforms are kind of popping up. So I'm uh, just trying to figure out how I get the platforms, and it was the way that I had it initially. So I can figure out the little acid blobs here. They they don't like water, so. You can bring the water down to get rid of them, but we needed to get to the platform. and the more because we don't like water out there, so that's kind of what we had to do there. So, anyway, here we go. We got um, another zookeeper piece, and this is pretty good because it's a 10% chance to ignore incoming damage, and you get an extra 4% for each repro you have. So, we have that shield, so we're at a 14% chance to not take damage. It's in my opinion, if you have repros, it's, it's probably the best armor piece in the game. So, I picked that up. We've got two pieces. Hopefully we can finish the set. Uh, this right here is just a lore capsule. I like I like to pick those up. I can read them later, but 
you know, you can pause the video if you're really interested in, in the lore there. But I just wanted to get a dad and vlog, and we carry on. Um, <laughs> you'll see these floating mines. You can, if you get close enough, their eye opens up, and you can hit them with a, a charge shot, and they kind of fly away, which is really, <laughs> really fun. Um, if you don't hit them with the charge shot, they sit right there and explode. So if you're too close, you're going to take some damage from it. But uh, luckily that didn't happen. Uh, this little frog guy here is one of the most annoying mini bosses in the game, I think. So he keeps switching the water level and then shooting these little acid things. And like I said, the acid, it doesn't really like the water. So if I bring the water down, then I'm pretty protected from it. But <laughs> I keep getting hit by this little lizard he shoots out. So uh, I just need to play better. And, and I do start playing a little bit better. Got lucky the shield blocked that shot there. So we're just gonna take our time. This <laughs> this can take a little while just just because um, it's kind of got a crazy pattern. My my damage isn't that great. So just making sure I'm not letting things build up and really just doing due diligence here. Hitting, uh, hitting the mini boss when I can. So, it'll take a minute, but we'll, we'll get through it. I actually wonder if, um, if this guy's going to get nerfed at some point, just because he does seem a lot tankier than many of the other mini bosses. And I don't even know that it's that he's tanky. I, I think it might be more. He's just hard to hit on the ceiling there. So, <laughs> being you know being a little squishier. I think would would maybe be a nice balance. So anyway, we get some more more items here. Um, pretty sure I take more core points here. Just not super impressed with the items I've been getting. So you can also notice that a lot of times I don't I don't take the stuff because uh, it's bad and I hit the wrong button. So here we just get the. Um, taking damage empowers your next attack. It's not great, but it's damage. <laughs> you know, <laughs> not that you want to get hit, but if you do get hit, it's nice to have a little extra damage. So uh, we take it because it's better than not having it. And now we're into the weird gravity zone here. Try to sneak down here and get this chest, get a, get a couple nuts. I don't know what that, <laughs> that switch is for. Um, but I hit it <laughs> just because. And uh, he is my arch enemy, the giant, I don't know, maybe turtleoid knock knockoff. So he only hit me once, which is better than I usually do against that guy, we'll say. Um, also, I'll note that coming here a little bit later, um, there, <laughs> and maybe it's just this, this run, but there seems to be a lot more of those later on. So. We're into the boss. We're gonna, you know, come here, kind of flip over. We don't have any tokens for the gambling machine here, so we're just gonna go on in and take on Experiment 9. This fight's pretty fun. Um, you, you can see the gravity switches in, in the room here. They make it pretty interesting, so uh, I got a little lucky there <laughs> and blocked the shot. Yeah, well, let's kind of follow this guy around, try to dodge over his attacks. Um, going a little crazy here. <laughs> That's okay. You can blow up the little uh, shurikens. That's how you say it. Uh, when they stick into the ground or the ceiling, so, you know, they're, they're good to clean up. The jump height's really coming in handy here. As you see, I'm able to pretty easily clear over uh, he's about half dead here. Uh, keep going. I unfortunately burned through all my armor, but it was about to happen, so. Uh, you'll notice he shoots out a little repro there, too, so that's actually as much as you get from this guy is a little repro power, so. Yeah, uh, he's dead here. We get our own warning. I wasn't quite as cool as this guy. 
fight against them Primus, but that's okay. So we got Auto Drone. And we're gonna want him to Penumbra. That's okay. Shit, he's got my least favorite biome. But I think a lot of that has to do with when this, when this game first hit early access. This level was very overtuned and gave me nightmares. So it's, um, it's been nerfed quite a bit and it's not, not that bad uh, anymore, but I don't think. <laughs> but I'm also scared to come here later to see if it's a terrible nightmare. So we're just going to kind of make our way through here. And um, you'll notice there's these little white enemies and small ones you can just kill and big ones you turn off by shooting. Um, if you get too close, they're going to hurt you. So we can just turn them off. But we found a very safe laboratory here. And I'm a crazy person, so I take this. <laughs> and what this does is it's going to take away two health on each level starting. So it's going to give us an attack power and an energy power. So. We get stronger, and <laughs> we get uh, weaker. Um, this guy right here, he gives us the option to take take a uh, downgrade, which you know was lose energy when you get hit, um, or the uh, get stuck. So you'll you'll see this guy sometimes. He'll show up with the little glory capsule, and if you if you fight him. I'm pretty sure you clear the uh, the bad condition right away. And so if you, if you know, we fight him, he does some damage to me. I lose all my energy, but I get 30 nuts for doing it. And you know, hopefully we'll find a shop here, and we've got an item that puts some things on sale. So I'm hoping we can put that 30 nuts to to, to good use. So we're into the mini boss here. This guy is kind of but really not not too bad. These little hoops, they redirect projectiles, so you want to make sure that you aren't getting hit by by their shots and you aren't <laughs> shooting your projectiles into there so you can't hit them. Um, here, you know, there's a repro there, which I think about, but Contractor Omega is just a really good item. It, it jacks up all of your stats, so I go for that instead. And um, we get a little more lore, we get some more nuts, and we're into a glory zone here. So, um, you know, same, same drill as last time, we want to not take any damage. And you know, I always try to take it a little bit slower through here. I'm sure there's people who can go much faster. And this kind of surprised me, but that was really, really, <laughs> really short. Uh, but we'll take it. So, I don't know what reboot is here, but reading the description, I kind of think it's a repro, so I end up grabbing it, and it does turn out to be a repro. So, <laughs> we're, we're up to 18% chance to ignore damage now, uh, thanks to our, our zookeeper's uh, armor. And um, this, this little guy, uh, he, he ends up being pretty cool. I, I don't know if he's the MVP of the run, but definitely puts in the, the work. You'll see he'll activate here shortly. Just shooting those big lasers, which is pretty fun, I think. So, um, It also says that he can block shots. So I have two things that can block shots now, and a chance to ignore damage, which just seems really good. So, I'm kind of confused by the layout here. <laughs> You'll see me running all over the place and trying to figure out. I want to do this, um, this contemplated room. Um, I don't know if that's what they're called anymore. And I immediately take two damage, so um, if I take one more damage, I'm going to drop down to silver tier rewards. So I want to just play a little bit safer. And um, <laughs> I don't know why, but it just seems like this is a little more hectic than what I'm used to in these rooms. And it could just be the number of being a terrible, terrible level. And uh, I get a little baited here, shooting those platforms, and I take another damage, so we're down to silver tier. And, uh, yeah. We're getting pretty close to the end of this room here. Just want to try to not take any more damage, and... Spoiler, I definitely do. <laughs> so, 
we get knocked down to bronze tier, which means we only get one one uh, choice of items out of this chest. But if I remember correctly, it was probably what I was gonna take anyway. No, actually, there was a reflap there, which would have been way better. But um, this is an interesting buster. Uh, augment, I guess. I don't know what you would call it. Weapon, maybe. Um, <laughs> and I've never had this before, and definitely takes me a while to figure out what's going on here. But essentially, instead of shooting a charge shot, I use the weapon in my first weapon slot, uh, but it, it costs a lot less energy to do so. I actually don't know that it's using energy, any energy. It certainly, <laughs> maybe, maybe the discount's just so strong that it um, it makes it free. But um, yeah, uh, right now I've got the. I think I re-roll this here. Um, I've got the uh, I forget what the weapon's called, but the fireball, and um, yeah, so we get solution gambler, which I end up not using the entire game because <laughs> we don't get many slot machines. Um, but, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't really know how to use this super effectively how it is. Um, because it just shoots a fireball up in the air, which is sometimes useful. You see me using it kind of to help me hit these switches and get a few enemies that are positioned above me. But I think most of the time when, when I'm shooting a charge shot, I want to hit what's in front of me and not what's above me. So... And uh, the fact that, you know, this is <laughs> kind of a, a new thing, it's um, not the first thing in my mind that if I let go of my charge shot, I'm going to shoot straight up in the air. Uh, but we roll with it for now. I'll change it up a little bit later. <laughs> but here we are at the Absolution boss. Um, we, we have a gambling machine. I can pay nuts to play that now. I don't have any tokens, but I come in here and... The armor scavenger seems like a pretty good item. It just lets you find more armor, which is pretty useful. I'm checking checking my cores here, to, so I've got five cores left available. Um, and you, you'll see those uh, different different items there have um, different core points. So I was just kind of switching around my powers. Um, one of the cool things about this game is you can fuse powers so you, you really only have three power slots there it's nice you don't have to switch behind uh, between them but they get their own dedicated button for it so I tried to <laughs> try to fuse the two powers that I have and uh, for whatever reason it's just not it's not working so I don't know if that's how this buster augment works I was going to assume it probably is that you don't get the fusion effects from it, so I switch it over to get the repro. We're all about repros on this build so far. We're zookeepering it up, and um, it seems to work okay. So we got these little stained glass pieces in the middle here that we're trying to take out. Hopefully that take too much damage. <laughs> we get the red one down really quick, and then the blue and the green take a little bit longer than I would have liked, but that's okay. So he comes back, smashing through. It's really cool. Fact, I, I really like the um, visuals of this game. Um, very, very nice colors and just some pretty cool cinematic effects. It's a very pretty game. So we take down Absolution, get three Memoria there, and we're going to come on over here and um, you'll see we have the option to take some nuts or get get an upgrade for the Serene Mortar. I guess that's what that is called there. So we take the upgrade. Probably a mistake, but we take it anyway. <laughs> I'm doing something wrong here. I I think just because it's getting fired from my charge shot, I can't split it. Um, I'm pretty sure that when you use it normally, you can reactivate it to split it at the top, which makes it a lot more useful. So it just does not seem to be very synergistic with this particular buster shot. So we go back to the repro. Um, I should probably take it off of the fusion there, but um, 
I don't. <laughs> so, uh, we, we go here to Dustria. This is another newer level. Um, it's one I try to get done a little bit early if I can, just because I haven't played it as much as the other ones since it is newer. Um, I, I'm pretty sure when this game came out, there were initially six, um, six bosses, six biomes, and, um, this one and the Experiment 9 came later, uh, so I played this a whole bunch when it first came out. It's changed a lot. It's almost a completely different game now, <laughs> and in a good way, in a good way. Um, not that it was bad to start with, but they, the, the team here, they really, really listen to what, what their players want and make good adjustments. So you'll see these crushers here. The nice thing about this is if you get crushed like I do there, you just kind of teleport back, and um, that's that, you know, you, um, no instant death, you can set it to have instant death if you, if you really want, um, but no instant death uh, by default there, so we're on to the mini boss here, he's going to throw a little exploding canisters at us, super fun with this uh, uh, guy for some reason, he reminds me of the mini boss and oh what is it Sig sigma one or sigma two and Mega Man x3 uh, I mean, it's like the little little dinosaur robot i don't know why this guy reminds me of him but he does so we take him out pretty easy um nice and easy with the boosted jump so uh, we're gonna take glass cannon here because i hate health apparently <laughs> health every stage i say you know what what's 20 more health and take we get the tiny flame spewer which is another repro so we're very happy to have that with our current build gives us another another we get more point, uh, damage uh chance to ignore damage so uh, we have we have three so that puts us up to 22 percent chance to ignore damage but i don't know if this this uh power repro counts up to one. I'm, I'm kind of working under the assumption that it doesn't, because it's not it's not truly a repro, it's a, it's a power, it's an ability that acts like a repro, but, you know, if it does, then great. Um, definitely, yeah, I've got to get lucky with this ignore damage every time because of that, um, which is great because our HP is not in the best situation here, and, uh, yeah, we're just kind of chugging along. Uh, I'm pretty sure I missed a, missed a chest back there, <laughs> but, you know, we're, we're just going, we're just cruising. And, uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit more powerful, this, you know, we're, this, uh, we're just pretty pro is sniping people from pretty far away, and, you know, I don't, I don't really have to care too much about aiming at things, because... My, my little pets are just taking on the baddies for me, which is really nice, so. Fall into the ass, and they're kind of a bummer, have to back up, but, you know, it could have been worse. Fall into the um, just wait for the platform to be electrified. We're on our way here, have to kill get pretty close to the end of this level. And, um, yeah, I'm taking a little more damage, because, like I said, I hate health. Um, you tell them. No one needs health. Damage is all you really need, right? If you kill them before they kill you, then, then health is redundant, right? So here we are, we get another shop. I don't really have any nuts. <laughs> so, we, we have eight nuts. We go in here, see if anything we can get for eight. There's nothing. I, I don't know that I want any of these things anyway, so... Not like the item that's going to win us the game is in the shop, so I'm not too bummed out. I could have gave some health for some nuts there, but like I said, it's not not super pertinent for us to get any of those items. So here we are. We got uh, <laughs> Capital Punishment, great great punny name. Uh, he's got these electric fist, and uh, <laughs> we can hit him himself. But probably the best way to take this guy on is to hit the fist with these exploding canisters. It does a nice big chunk of damage as you're seeing. So we're just gonna, gonna try to line it up to 
to kind of explode those right on his fist. So, um, I am definitely on the wrong side here. <laughs> I try to get back on over here where it's a little bit safer. If you stand behind him, you don't have to worry about it too much. So, uh, we get behind there. And we're going to dodge some lasers and shoot some more canisters. Um, not too bad. So, just just kind of chip away at him. And um, we, luckily are set up on the right side this time. He's going to go down pretty nicely for us. So <laughs> See all his hands just drop to the ground there. So Pretty nice fight overall. Could have been better, but we'll take it. Um, here I... I definitely want the Mimic Drone upgrade since I've been really riding it just to success here. And uh, we're going to go to the, the Clock Zone and uh, take on Lethal Temple. Um, this is one of my least favorite bosses, so happy to get it out of the way. So this I, I hate. <laughs> take damage and it locks you out of pretty much doing anything for three seconds and... I just know if I if I take that, no matter what the reward is, I'm gonna get comboed to death. So I say no thanks and go about my way. Um, this uh, this little clock gear monster thing is really giving me some trouble here, but I'm able to take him out and then jump on the spikes, all according to plan. Uh, we find a glory zone here, and. Um, We've gotten pretty lucky. We've had some pretty easy glory stones so far, so I'm hoping that this is more of the same. Sometimes these can be really obnoxious, but uh, this, this run has been very kind to us. So we're just going to hop on through here, take our time. Uh, no, no reason to rush and take unnecessary damage. We want to make sure we maximize our options for rewards at the end. And... Uh, doing a nice job of it so so far so good we got just this last little swingy section here and we're at the end it was pretty good um unfortunately no zookeeper armor here but this uh coup de grace i think is going to work pretty well with our little muster shot mechanic so you know i can i can launch the repro and then I can shoot things with my limits, and hopefully I get a little little boost to the power of that guy. Um, not <laughs> not really paying attention on if it's working the way that I think it is, but that was kind of my reasoning there. So um, it, it is interesting with a game that's still an alpha like this. Uh, sometimes the the combos and the the, the synergies of items they don't exactly work out the way that you think they will in your head but I like experimenting and you know I think if I if I have a solid reason for wanting to take something then it's worth trying out worst case scenario it doesn't work the way I think it does I make a note of it and I just I'll, I'll do that next time so I, maybe it gets fixed and does do that so um, but yeah that's kind of kind of what I was thinking there so we're um, picking up some nuts here and kind of clearing out the enemies here. I, I'm trying to be extra diligent about clearing these guys out. We're, we're relatively nut poor, so <laughs> picking up the, uh, extra, picking up uh, making sure we're killing guys to spot as many nuts as we can. Clearing these guys out. We're going to run to afford things at uh, the shop later. So. Uh, gonna swing on through here and um, take out this, this last gear guy straggling down here and um, we get, we get a little lucky and get some armor drops there so that's that um, armor finder item we got a little while ago paying off there which is really nice so um, this is the mini boss he's pretty unique <laughs> it's kind of like a chase we can't hurt him you just have to run away and um, it's a long section. <laughs> you, you are kind of uh, gotta go fast through here, and you know I'm, I'm being a little dumb. I'm doubling back and killing enemies I don't need to deal with. You, you can come back through here after you kill the, the mini boss, but um, you know I don't really want to do that, so I'm just killing enemies that I need to deal with. You can kill them. So um, just, just trying to be careful. 
not get hit by too many things. Overall, we'll be okay here, so. Coming on through, and it should be close to the end. We run them into this giant spike ball, and that's that section done with, so. Looking at our items here, Thorn Hall is, used to be really strong, it's still pretty good, but we're losing HP all over the place, so we're just going to take some core points because we're starting to get a little low on our ability to uh, break up new, new core to play on this, so we're just um, happy to take that and have some flexibility for, you know, maybe if I get some more Zookeeper armor parts in the future here. Oh, uh, anyway, the, the mini boss kind of tells you you're about halfway done with the set stage. So we're going to climb on up here, and you know, these stack platforms are a little bit annoying. Get some more armor. Um, even though we're just hemorrhaging health uh, due to our very safe laboratory um, prototype AUG. Um, oh, I missed another chest there. <laughs> um, we, uh, we're still pretty happy with where we're at, so. Um, but yeah, here here we see another very safe laboratory. I'm trying to figure out how to get to it. I decide going over and around is the safest way. And we come on in here, and this one says, all nut picks are worth five, but you lose one HP on pickup. And, you know, even though we're a little nut poor, I just, I don't think I can give up more HP. There's a lot of nuts. <laughs> And we're gonna lose a lot of HP because of that. Um, you know, on, on second thought though, one HP is not a ton, um, and we are getting lucky with armor drops and health drops. So maybe it would have been okay, but I just felt like it wasn't something we needed. Uh, we have 46 nuts now, and that's that's pretty good. So we're gonna come on in here, and I see our, our reboot um, is here, and we already have one, but. As you get the same repro over and over again, they, they level up, they get better. So I, I pick him up, get another armor finder because I'm happy to keep finding armor. And we're feeling pretty good. So Lethal Temple, he's a really unique boss. He's got four health bars and <laughs> four, four parts, I guess. Um, and we just want to kind of dodge his attacks and kind of take him, take him down at our leisure so I always start bottom and go top I know I know some people like starting at the top and going down they think it's a little bit easier but uh, I personally find that that top one the hardest one to take down safely so if I get the bottom ones done I can have a little bit of a buffer zone um, on the bottom here making it easier to, to dodge him so we got half of them done we're gonna shortly drop this third one and then it'll just kind of be uh, a little bit of time before we take that top one down. I know uh, some people who play Ace, which is the zero character, they'll kind of climb this back wall here and uh, slash him from behind. I imagine you could probably do something similar with Nina, but I know I'm just going to take more damage than I really am comfortable taking, so just taking my time to whittle it down. So. <laughs> There we go, we lost 20 more HP like we do every level. Gained some, some power and attack damage. We're on our way here, so... This is, uh... Um, this is interesting here. I think I was thinking about grabbing the item, but I, I grabbed the aiming gear, which is kind of nice. <laughs> um, I... I fuse it there. I don't think the fusions really matter after I got through all this, but you know, I was working under the assumption that it maybe was. Um, so anyway, we go into Echo Beast level here, and this uh, this level has recently been overhauled. So, so they added this new gimmick of this. I don't know. I'll call it quick scan. Anyway, you know, but it, it's dirt. You kind of dash through, like you can't stop moving. So. Um, you can dash to become invulnerable down here, which is kind of cool. Um, but oftentimes it just gets a little crazy, and I'm still not super comfortable with the movement through here. But you know, we'll, we'll try it out anyway. I think I decide that those nuts up there aren't worth my time, so I carry on. You know, not right now, so we see what we 
Yeah, the guy just, uh, this little dude rocking up here. I, mean, I have no idea what that guy is. He doesn't attack you or anything, but you can kill him, so I kill him. And we're, we're back to digging. Okay. So, um, I, I'm pretty sure this is a product of being here a little bit later, but you'll notice these crystals keep spawning near me. They're really annoying. <laughs> but we just, uh, we just deal with them. So, here we are in another glory zone. I'm trying to be careful not to take any damage. Just want to be really precise with my movement. I should be okay. And, uh, really impress myself here because I'm not good <laughs> with with that so I don't take one damage which is way better than I probably should have done and um, that's okay I didn't really want the power enhancer anyway so I get a double jump so now I got a high jump and I can do it twice okay. and that seems really good to me I get a double uh, we have plenty of divorce so we, uh, we have plenty of sleep which sounds silly that I have two pairs of boots on but you know what Oh, cool kids wear two boots, you know, but per foot. <laughs> I guess most people wear two boots when they wear boots. You know. So here we are in the mini boss. Uh, this, this guy is not too bad. I I don't play it as well as I usually do, um, but that's okay. We just uh, slowly take one down and then last one and we're good okay. get some nuts get some memoria looking pretty good and here we're gonna take the mega heart just to just to undo some of the damage we did from our very safe lab so more lore we're gonna get some more nuts a little bit of health top ourselves off there and we'll be on our way um, we got a little little electric sound dude uh, there those guys are pretty annoying. Um, they used to be a lot more annoying. You used to not be able to kill them. So I'm very happy that they made that change that now you can actually deal with them and they just aren't constantly um, making you change how you play. But um, yeah, so these, uh, these little platforms here are kind of annoying. We're gonna use our super jumping power to come up here and get this chest. And uh, now we're going to be fast. <laughs> um, so I don't, that's one of the things I do like is, you know, jump height and speed, they aren't super necessary for what you do in this game, but it just feels good. It, it feels good to go faster and jump higher. And, um, you know, you're, you're, you're always happy to have those upgrades. You don't go out of your way for them, but when the game gives them to you, you're just happy to have them. No, no shop here, so we're just going to hold on to our nuts, and we're going to go on into Echo Beast. Echo Beast is one of the trolliest bosses in this game. Um, he teleports all over the place. Uh, he's got these bouncing projectiles that he throws more of out as you, as you start to murder him more. So <laughs> you just have to be really careful about where you're going and um, you know how you're going to hit him so we're just kind of being careful he's choosing to stick to the ceiling and drop some crystals on us we don't super appreciate that <laughs> so you know uh, this bouncing projectile is making it kind of hard for us to jump on up here and get some damage down so thankfully he comes down but then Right, right back to his old games here. We're very thankful we have good jump power, but we're taking a little bit more damage than, than we want to. And um, hopefully he just comes down and we can get some good damage and uh, finish him off soon. So, but more jumping on the ceiling, more falling crystals. <laughs> Should, should be over pretty soon here and we got him <laughs> lost 20 more max hp but that's okay we got a mega heart so we're feeling okay about our hp right now we got 100 max hp less okay about our current hp because we lost so much but um, here we're going to take the mario item that lets you bounce off HP. Let's check it out and we're down to our last two bosses so 
We're gonna go and uh, hoot Omega's level here. And um, me personally, this is one of my favorite levels. So, because even if you don't have the ability mods, um, there's there's a lot of things in this level that just let you let you be more mobile. And, uh, maybe you feel there's like a lot of you have them. So you uh, you got these cool floating cloud platforms that just keep spawning. And uh, you'll see these wing wing platforms here. If you jump on those, it refreshes your jump, so you get you get a double jump even if you don't have the cool boots like we have. So we're going to take advantage of those just to you know to get where we need to go. And um, yeah, these uh, little tornado machines they used to be a lot more annoying. Um, they had a million HP and they kind of blended in with the background, so they've updated those sprites. And now they're not too bad. I don't want to be. Um, I, I still don't. I don't think they can have like nut drops or health drops or anything. Um, still, but at least you know they're there. And knowing it's half throttle, so <laughs> they also don't take a year and a half to kill, which I really appreciate. Sometimes you just need to get them out of the way. It took way too long, so. I'm just kind of looking around, and I'm rewarded by finding this health capsule down here. Didn't really need it, but it gives us a little bit of energy, which is nice. And uh, we're kind of going to make our way up here down here. Um, just kind of slowly taking out all these annoying enemies. Our Reaper energy is definitely helping us <laughs> helping us uh, clear a path, which, uh, which is why you take them, right? So, uh, following this nut back down because haven't climbed up here enough yet <laughs> and uh, should be close to the top here so get another chest with some nuts we're up to 48 now um, really looking to get a shop soon and hopefully buy something game changing uh, I, I feel pretty good about about the overall power level of this run but it, it could definitely be more busted in games like this, it can always be more busted, so, you know, you're always looking for something that just turns you into a murder ball, and uh, we, we aren't quite to murder ball level yet. Um, this is the mini-boss for this stage. It's kind of interesting. It's just a vertical climb with with uh, this dude raining stuff down, so <laughs> we take him out, and uh, here, I think... Um, you know, it's between the quantum spook and the, the heart container, and I just say, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna lose 20 more health, so this will at least make that a wash, and we're guaranteed to get it to the next level with at least 100 health, um, barring any other stupid decision I make. So I grab that. Uh, quantum spook is kind of nice, but not required. Certainly not required. Um, lets you shoot through walls. Um, but with our repros, I, I feel like we're doing pretty good. We're able to angle our shot at pretty interesting angles anyway. So I decide that there must be something hidden up here. And I kind of go back up and take a bunch of damage for no reason. Because there was nothing hidden there. So we're, we're back on the good old descent. Get some armor. <laughs> Makes me feel not so bad about taking that terrible adventure. And... Um, yeah, we're almost at the bottom of this little chasm, this little wind tunnel, which which is a pretty cool mechanic, I guess. But yeah, this wind that just kind of lets you fall slowly. So, get another glass cannon. So, now we're no longer guaranteed to have at least 100 max health when we leave. But we do have more damage, and you know how I like damage. So, happy to take the glass cannon. It's, it's an item I which always take. I, I don't know if that's right or not, but it feels right. <laughs> so so I do it. <laughs> um, getting pretty close to the end of this level. And uh, we get our first token, first little poker chip, chip of the run. Um, I'm hopeful that we'll find uh, a little slot machine and be able to get some good rewards out of that. But um, it is getting pretty late, so we really only have two more shots at the at the slot machine, so we'll, we'll see if we get one at the end of the level. 
Um, just kind of looking around, making sure I didn't forget anything. And, and uh, yeah, it looks like I did a nice job of clearing it out. Come on over. <laughs> this guy gets stuck on a platform. And um, I almost fall in the lava, but it's okay because I just use my double jump and get to this little uh, glory zone here. So, um, we're gonna gonna do our best to get get out of here with no damage. It's kind of you know, take things out. Um, the, this particular area here, we're really really benefiting from having the, the double jump and the super high jump because <laughs> we don't need to rely on these platforms nearly as much as um, as we would if we didn't have them. So we uh, got a nice little jump on that bat there and um, that's nice. So we can jump some more, more arm. Got a nice, actually said pretty nice. So, uh, no zookeeper armor, but we got zookeeper zeal, which that seems like the right choice. And that might eat up our, our repros, so they're gonna fire more off for them. We're gonna have to do more damage overall. Uh, the bulk of our damage is definitely coming from those guys, so anything we can do to buff them up definitely seems like the right call. Uh, we'll get, get another token here. I'm gonna try to be a little cheeky and grab it off the spikes, but I get hit. Get, get here, so I'm gonna try to get some more armor and it gives me two more armor drops. I don't feel too bad about that exchange, and, and, but I'm not going for that nut. <laughs> that one nut does not seem like a working there. So here we are into the boss area. Um, Hoot Omega is a very interesting boss. He kind of runs away from me the whole time. So we get a shop here, um, and I'm just kind of looking to see. What I might want to get. There's no repros in here. We didn't get any zookeeper armor pieces. And, uh, but I do, I do see this horror on my token, which says that nut holding increases the damage. So see this. We're going to be holding our nuts the rest of the run, trying to get get that damage up there. So, 17 nut drops in here. Probably not enough to hold the, to get, to get you know, really good damage boost, but it's something. So, <laughs> we took it. It's kind of a bummer that we had to spend nuts to, to you know, get, get that. But it was, in my opinion, the best item in that shop. And, you know, we'll get we'll get some more nuts before we get some item in this run. So uh, you'll see Hoot Omega here just kind of running away like a coward. We're gonna chase him down and hopefully not take too much damage in the process. Um, <laughs> get some good damage down, he runs away again, so we're on the chase. Now, luckily, we're, we're pretty fast, so we don't have to really worry about sticking around and getting caught in these tornadoes. And we're pushing them to the last segment here, so come on through, make quick work of him, and that's that level. Got 11 Memoria there. Kind of just looking at what what I can get here. I don't really care about the power at this point, so I'll get the item that makes my shots bounce off the wall. And um, yeah, we're into the last last area here. This uh, this level is a pain, um, but the boss is so easy. So <laughs> in my mind, the the trade off of this level being pain for the boss being essentially free is, is worth it. So we're going to hold some more nuts there and um, hopefully we just get through this level without taking too much damage and we can get rid of the boss and uh, beat the game. Or at least <laughs> the game as it is right now. I, I will imagine that they're adding some, you know, Sigma-esque stages um, probably in the process of designing those right now but currently not in the game. I want to say in 20XDX there were there were two two stages like that. So I would I would guess probably about the same two of them. Um, but we'll have to wait and see what they come up with. I'm very excited to see you know where where they go with the rest of the development of this game. Uh, so yeah, it's 
looking pretty good here. We got our little digital palm trees in the background. Getting chased down by snake monsters. Uh, unfortunately, we lose a nut there, so that's one less nut we can hold. But, you know, worse things have happened. And, <laughs> and I see another very safe laboratory that just seems like it's that type of run. Uh, I'm pretty sure once you've taken a very safe lab, um, you're that much more likely to see them in the future. This one also just seems not worth it. It's going to reduce me to one current HP to <laughs> give me uh, three max HP for each HP lost. Um, definitely would fix my max HP problem, and I had had enough armor to really make use of that, but. Um, <laughs> I wasn't confident that I was going to be able to make use of the max HP before I got to the end of this level, so uh, we, we decided to pass on that one. We kind of hoping we'd get something a little bit more interesting than that, but that's okay. Get some more nuts to hold, and uh, we'll, we'll kind of continue on. Should be coming up on the, the mid-boss here um, very soon. Gonna kind of do our due diligence, make sure we're not, <laughs> not taking too much damage as I take a million damage. But um, yeah, so we're we're just gonna ride these little floaty blocks through here, um, try to figure out where we need to go, and um, fall into the lava, all according to plan. So uh, here we go. Just gonna jump over these little laser beams and, and climb up here and uh, a lot of laser beams. <laughs> I ho hopefully you're seeing why this level can be such a pain. Um, if you come here earlier it's, it's certainly less laser beamy so <laughs> um, if you come here earlier let's kind of take our time through here and um, I, I definitely uh, get a little carried away here because I come on over to here and I notice, oh, there's, uh, there's a glory zone. <laughs> I can jump high, but I can't jump that high. So, oh, I uh, try, to, try to get on up here, take some laser damage, and I, I kind of realize, oh, <laughs> I'm going to have to climb this wall over here. That seems a little scary because there's lasers. So, ended up not being too bad. Lost a bunch of armor for really nothing, but I'll be okay. And um, we have this little platform maze here. Over here. Uh, I, I immediately say, you know, this is not going to be bad because I can jump forever. So get get a little lucky there. Definitely should have made a spike, but that's okay. Uh, we use our jump power and we get to the end. And we get the Zookeeper's Wrath, which uh, makes me feel like we at least a full charge. Um, all our repros activate. Seems pretty good, especially because our full charge spawns a repro. And, and uh, we get the here we are on the mid boss. It's a giant snake. <laughs> Never would have guessed that from you know the rest of the level. But, uh, this guy's a little annoying because as you as you kill him, he drops segments of his tail that wrath laser beam the column of the row that at their end, so you know, um, I, I rarely get through that guy without taking a little bit of damage. This is no different here, so uh, we get in here and we get a little, little hoot, which is another repro, and we're happy to have that. It's more chance to more damage, and more damage with all our repro bonus material. So, um, this is a repro meal, not really interested, so I recycle that, give 15 nuts, um, you know, more, more nuts to hold, more damage, so we're happy to make that trade off, we weren't going to use the, the powers anyway, because um, we're pretty all in on repros, so yeah, we'll just uh, kind of come through here, dodge more lasers, <laughs> take out some more baddies, uh, we'll be at the boss pretty soon, and Hopefully, we can, we can kill him without too much problem, and, and uh, that'll be it. So, come on through here. These little uh, turret guys, they have that, that green laser that shifts back and forth. If they spot you, they, they go crazy. 
so I try really hard not to get caught by them. It's, it's not too bad if they spot you, but definitely better to not have to deal with that. So come on up here. No nuts, unfortunately, but you know, we'll refresh our energy, I guess. And um, yeah, this looks like a murder, murder death trap down here. So, but our repros have our backs, so we're good, good to go there. Come back, pick up our nuts, and um, we're moving forward. Uh, this this kind of confused me a little bit. We got this, you know, translucent platform there that just disappears for a second. So I kind of use my double jump to scout out the bottom there, and well, uh, there's a safe zone. So avoid the spikes. And we get in here. We've got. 80 health and 3 armor, hoping to find a slot machine, um, and we definitely don't, so we'll go into the shop even though the nuts are causing us to, you know, have more damage, but I see this, uh, this, this mega heart here, and, uh, you know, it's on sale, it's 50% off, so I figure the, the 40 health for the the slight decrease in damage is probably worth the trade-off. Just be extra safe here. Our repros are doing a lot of damage for us anyway. So having that little buffer in case something goes terribly wrong will be nice. Now, this guy, he he's not bad. He, um, he used to be completely free. He's much less free now. Um, before, you could just take out his, his little uh, geometric shapes there and He'd be helpless. He just kind of scoot around the room and do nothing. Uh, now, <laughs> if you take those out, uh, you'll you'll see he spawns a shield, and you can only damage him from within the shield. And um, then he starts spawning um, geometric shapes that are like holographics. So he he's not as hopeless as he used to be. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, but. Uh, you know, we get we get some good damage in before we get into this phase, which makes them a lot more bearable. And uh, we just got a little little under a quarter of his health left to take down. We'll be home free, so feeling pretty confident at this point. We get in there and finish him off. There we go. The game takes 20 HP from me again, just to remind me who's daddy and. Uh, Pick up our nine memoria, and we'll move on in here, and we'll finish the game. So, like I said, eventually there's going to be some sigma type levels. For now, this is what we've got. I think it's really good. I'll leave a link to the the game in Steam in the description. I hope you check it out. It's a fantastic game. These guys really love what they do. They're they're big fans of the Mega Man series, and you can really tell in their their work here. So. Uh, check it out. I, I really appreciate you sticking with me through this. I know this was a bit of a longer video, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully you are kind of excited about seeing seeing content like this. I hope hope to make more in the future. If you like what you saw, leave a like. Um, consider subscribing. It helps me out a ton. Um, but yeah, I I really appreciate you sticking around and. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.